against against Mark Sanchez, I beat the, the hell out of him. Sorry about that. Sorry about Bark. If you're watching, I would like to apologize. Apologize for what? For trash talking Bark. He doesn't deserve it. He's a nice. He's like the nicest guy on the planet. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, down air. I almost organized the Smash Goodball Teams tournament, but uh, I did. I just didn't have time to do it last weekend, and then this weekend is this tournament. Shit, look, are you gonna do it next week? Maybe. I would love to do that, but who would I keep? You got to do no goaltending. All right, Quapples, uh, talk about your match and your thought processes through this. But no, you have to commentate it like it's happening in real time, like Jaime does. I, I literally just did it like like a, like a few minutes ago. Jaime also commentates his matches? Yeah, Jaime's, Jaime's the best self-commentator NA. Oh, he missed. <laughs> oh, he, he, he went for the boom special. He missed the uh, you missed the dash though. I saw boom do it. I was like, oh shoot, I should do that too, but it didn't work out. <laughs> so, what's your thought process here while you have Mark Sanchez on the ropes a little bit? I don't know. I just like he baggers. He jumps a lot. He jumps a lot. A lot. So, well, what, what do you think about you play this matchup, or you're playing against a good Pikachu? I don't know. Uh, you want to avoid getting like you kind of you kind of want to like avoid taking as much damage from like posts as much as possible, kind of. So you kind of it's like it's very like poking oriented. So yeah, and I assume your goal is just poke them back harder. I can't poke them back. It's peak up, bro. I only have like one good poking tool. The air, that's back here. Even that, you can beat it out easily. So what was that if you didn't just poke him into that combo? I probably, he probably come, he probably would come down with the neutral air and just edge guard me now. Kirby Nair, Kirby Nair is great if you like, if you're from the ground and you want to surprise him. But it's not really good for spacing because of how slow and vulnerable you are if you do it. So this since uh, Bark plays, Bark is like a really weird team. You know, he doesn't play like a lot of other teams. So the way I play against Bark is that I'm a lot more grounded. He, li he really likes back air, um, so like uh, I ain't gonna deal with that. So I just play a lot more grounded, and it worked out. Okay. Where's like Bark that? to commentate his side of this set? Uh, he might <laughs> where, be. Where, he might be playing a match. It would be interesting to watch them both self-commentate their match in the same Discord call. <laughs> One of my favorite um, approaching options is pivot back. That's like my like favorite because it look it, it looks cool and it works. Josh doing his thing. Um, sometimes when Josh is on the top flat, I like um, sometimes I predict that he's gonna go for a drop down back here, and to cover that, I do that. Um, I, I usually do it up so. I died. Yeah, I was. I was like, I died in that. I was like in the middle of the stage, so I was pretty angry about that. Yeah. Do you feel you play better when you're angry about Pikachu? No. You're just no. I play better when I'm talking. I, if I see when I talk, I, like I excrete my like you know when you go to the bathroom you excrete your waste. When I'm in the Discord, Discord call, I excrete my anger. I see. So you shit fury all over Park Sanchez. And then it's trash talk done, even though he's like like the next guy on the planet. So like Whatever gets yourself pumped up, you know, they say that there's a conscious mind and a subconscious mind and you may just play better. Oh, what was that down yeah. tilt dude? I think my subconscious mind is like a is a, is a dick. No dick as in like not nice. Not you're doing the super now. 
Um, okay, one. Um, I actually um, when Pika so has invincibility, uh, I like you to do, do, do this thing where I fast fall and then jump back up again and, and fast fall again. And they can't hit me. They like you know, I'm too fast for them to hit me, so like I just never get hit. And it's like really epic. I like that that little walk into up field <laughs> as soon as as soon as Josh is trying to. Yeah, I, 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 I react a lot in the set. Bark is not very fast, so... No, he's not the fastest rat, so... That's, that's so I, 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 I can kind of get away with that. I do agree, Bark. He plays, he plays a good rat, but he also has certain things about yeah. him. He's, certain... just, he's just weird. He's just like, he doesn't play like he was really expected. He's definitely one of the more unconventional people. I think it's because Bark plays highly off his experience where he's not really replicating what he sees. He's kind of just to mold the game in the way he wants to play it. And uh, he's... One thing I like to do when I'm covering recoveries is like, I like to sit um, on the mid-plat. Um, if I'm like on the mid-plat, you know, the plat between the top and the floor, um, be able to have like... Um, you can able to apply pressure if the Pika goes to the ledge, and you can able to, and you're able to apply pressure when Pika goes on top flat. But unless I'm, they edge cancel it. If I'm but, being honest, Quapples, uh I think you and Bark are very similar in that sense where you kind of molded the game the way you want to play it, the way you want to play your characters. Uh, so yeah, your matches think, are interesting to watch. I think that's because I don't really watch a lot of bots. No, we're wrong. Roll? Kirby roll is actually good. I like it. I tried a card of combo here. Oh, I, I went for a That's well, why I, I, think like it, I think it gives you favor against someone like Bark, because yes, he doesn't watch other Pikachus to learn to play Pikachu, but he watches other players to understand how they play. And you're not really replicating a lot of uh, other Kirbys, you just have your own style, which may trip him up a little bit. I gotta switch my style here. Usually I play like a lot more Kirby but. Like he, like Bog, you know, last time we played, he kind of just freaked me a lot. And I'm like, okay, maybe I should play differently. So I just thought, I like, on the spot, I just thought, like. I mean, Park, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong if you don't, like, watch others to learn how to All play right. Pikachu. Or pick up things from other Pikachus. Alright, I actually have to play my set versus. Hey, what's up, Sleepy? I gotta eat some Tila. And once I eat, I'll play my set room. Okay. Okay, later, man. What's good? Yo. Come here to watch the big game. The big game. Yeah, dude. Do you have any thoughts about the the big game? Um, <clears throat> no. 64 is a solved game. Solved? What's, what's solved about it? Everything. It's a solved game. I can? Oh, what, what, what should, was that there? You should elaborate <laughs> further on your point. Wait, is, am I live on Twitch? I yes, you was, are. I this is the viewing room. That was a really risky down B. No, I like it. You didn't like pay it. off. <laughs> you liked it. Yes. Oh, good crap there. Dash attack? Well, that's, that's on you. I'm not really... I'm never really mad when I play this game. If I ever get mad, it's at myself. Are oh, you never get mad? Not even at, not even at Kirby's? Playing I get mad sky? at myself. Like what happens? They'll be like playing, 
or like not really enjoy it. I'm like, why am I doing this myself? I could go do something that I'm having fun with. It's not like I don't mm. dislike the game, it's just in that moment. You get sad instead of narrow. That's probably true. Up. So when Paul was like, oh, I just get mad. I don't think he's like actually like, you know, flustered. The type of mad where you're making risky mistakes or you're just like, you know, playing to your strong suit because you're thinking too hard about your emotions. Getting pumped up is not the same as being angry or irritated. Sometimes um, they both happen at the same time. Yeah, that does happen. Sometimes you can get really irritated and it just happens to work out for you where you just like, okay, come on, I don't want to fall for this and this happens, but if it doesn't, I think like the... Oh, he did. Never mind. <laughs> the result of being angry about said thing, if it doesn't work out, is much harder than just like kind of just <clears throat> trying to not let it get to you. Josh needed to back air more. It's, oh, the, was. it's, it's the formula. He was doing that there. You know, the first yeah. two games. I, I did, right. It didn't work well. I'm, I'm gonna play Boom. Good you mean luck. you mean you're gonna play your next opponent because we don't know who wins this match? Yeah. What is wrong with you? I don't Man. know, dude. I honestly don't know. Why are you spoiling my tournament? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Boom could be in losers. Oh, he could? Yeah, he could be in losers. Wow, that's that's some hubris right there. You think you could put Boom in losers? I don't know. Are you doing Kirby Dittles? I don't know. I'm gonna kind of convince him to go with What? What about you go Jigglypuff as a counter pick? Yeah, uh, comical flop. The mental game is definitely an aspect of uh, players who propel forward in situations. Like, need being able to keep it together is definitely a skill some people don't have. Like, some people are really good when things are going them way, but when it's not, like, they crumble. Yeah, well, also, but, just like being able to last the whole day at, like, a big tournament. Yeah. Is not something that everyone can do. I swear we- I feel like we need to give Boo more props. Like, he has, like, very strong mental fortitude. Like, just in general, to not, like... Boom's a god. What can I say? He does- he- well, he does all the right stuff most at most tournaments. Like, as far as taking breaks and making sure he eats and, and all of that. And a lot of people just don't do that right. Yeah. We want to play. This matchup's a bit more close than uh, the other ones. I think Bark is trying to figure out Quapples a little bit more. Hey, this... He's not recklessly going after him. Yeah, yeah. On, the, on the first two games. Yeah, Bark, Bark is definitely someone who, who realizes his mistakes and tries to fix them as soon as possible. Oh, there it is. But it just comes with, is this the right choice? Oh, good escape. Definitely a player who learns as he goes on. I noticed that the, like, the bottom propeller 
has like a propeller. The bottom, pla the, uh, the respawn pad has a propeller at the bottom. <laughs> yes. I thought that was pretty cool. Not false. All right, last stock. Let's see if Quavos can bring it back. Let's go. Oh yes. Oh, let's see it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta DI the reverse back air, like, as far away as possible. Because then there's no follow-up. Tactical up smash on top plat. <laughs> Alright, I'm playing Boom now. Oh, the match is, isn't over yet. You're yeah, playing Boom. Um, We're talking friendly, about right? the fighting Mark. <laughs> Kids these days. Nice back. Okay, Jimmy Joe. <laughs> Does Jimmy Joe say bat nice back here? <laughs> A lot. Also, jab. Nice jab. Oh, I get him. The C flex. Oh, oh, Oh no, what is the back throw? I hope that that doesn't cost... Uh, that doesn't cost Mark the game. I'll pull this off stage. There's no what? way he comes back from this. Uh, Pikachu's getting to that meaty percent. Oh, the meme. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, uh, that... That left throw um, on the edge, it cost Mark Sanchez the game. Yeah, I had to sure. do was press. <laughs> press.